The heart is composed of four chambers. You have the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Notice that you label it as if the heart were to exist on you. Between the atria and the ventricles, we have valves. On the right hand side of the heart, you have the tricuspid valve, and on the left hand side, the bicuspid valve. There are two more valves which exist in the pulmonary artery and the aorta, and these are both semilunar valves, as shown here. When the blood flows through the heart, it first does so by entering the heart via the vena cava, and this is a vein. It goes into the right atrium, passing through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, and then out through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. Once it's been to the lungs, it comes back to the heart via the pulmonary veins, through the left atrium, left ventricle, and out via the aorta. The arrows here show that route again, the blue arrows representing deoxygenated blood and the red representing oxygenated blood. Now in this heart dissection here, I'm pointing to the wall of the left ventricle and you can see that it's incredibly thick and you can compare this with the thickness of the ventricle wall on the right hand side, which I'm about to point to, you'll find it's much thinner. This is because the right ventricle only needs to pump blood to the lungs. But that on the left that I pointed to first has to pump the blood right to the rest of the body, so you need to have a lot of muscle. 